Hi guys, my name is Nitin Garg. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can upload your existing code to an Azure DevOps Kit using the git command and PowerShell. So let's get started. Let's first create the Git repo in Azure DevOps. For that, you need to log in into your Azure DevOps account. So this is the project where I will create the new Git repo. So I'll go to the repo, select new repository and demo float. Let's give the name. Now Let's open the Visual Studio and create a project. I have created the sample console application, which I am going to upload it to the Git repo I just created and named as demo upload using the Git command and a PowerShell window. So let's open the PowerShell window and write the Git command to upload this code to the Git repo demo upload. I have my PowerShell window open. Before writing the git command, make sure the git is installed on your machine. And to check whether the git is installed or not, you can simply type git. You can see if the git is installed on your machine, you can see all the commands that are available to the git. You can also check which version is being installed on your machine. So git version. This gives you the current version installed on your machine so as you see i have the git installed on my machine so i can able to write the git command to upload the to upload this code to my azure devops git repo so let's write the command to upload the code first let's change this directory and point it to the root directory where our source code exists so in my case, my root directory where my source code exists is this. So I will write a command to change the directory, which is cd. And I need to put this in the quotes. Now, I am pointing to the directory where my code exists. So from here, I can write the git command to push this code to the Azure DevOps git. So the command that we are going to use are first command that we are going to write is git init, which basically create an empty git repository or reinitiate an existing one. Second command that we are going to execute is add, which add the file content to that index. And the third command that we are going to run is git commit, which basically record the changes to the git repo. And after that, we are going to update the origin of that this git folder and push that to the git repo so let's start with git init let's get the message Now, I need to push this code to my Azure DevOps Git repo, for which I need to run these two commands. First, I need to set the remote origin, for which I need to run this command. Now let's push the code. Cool. 
all the command get executed successfully let's refresh this page now you can see with these five commands we can able to upload our existing code to the azure devops git repo if you see this when i am writing the git command my powershell window is showing me git related information for example here my powershell window is showing me that i am connected to the master branch how many files is being added you can able to achieve this view by installing the posh git which i can explain it in the next video i hope you like this video please hit the like button comment and subscribe to my channel